Hello. Today's topic is about reentrant synchronization. When you declare a method as synchronized, you are saying whichever object calling this synchronized method use that object's intrinsic lock as a lock for synchronization. We need to understand reentrant synchronization in order to understand what happens when we call a synchronized method inside another synchronized method. Here is an example. We create five threads and we use reentrancy synchronizer as a runnable in the run method. The demo object calls say hello, which is synchronized. Demo is static final, so all the five threads share the same lock. When thread is zero, trying to run say hello, it first need to know which object work as a lock. The caller demo is work as a lock. The next question is, is there any other threads already acquired a demo? In order to find that, thread zero need to check a field called acquisition count. The JVM keep a field called acquisition count for the demo object. Before any thread acquires demo object, that acquisition count is zero. Since the value is zero, thread zero no, nobody have acquired demo yet. So it acquires the demo object and enters the garlic code block. Once acquires the demo, the acquisition count of demo is increased from zero to one. At this point, if other thread trying to acquire the same object, they are blocked. They have to wait for the acquisition count return to zero before they can acquire that object. Now thread zero entered the garlic code block and executed the statement one. Then it executed statement two. Say hello to is also a synchronized method. And um, which object is a lock? Of course, the caller demo. Now we get into problem. Demo is already work as a lock for say hello. Now it have to work as a lock for say hello too. So when thread is zero, ask if any other thread already holds the lock for say hello too, which is demo, the answer is yes, because the acquisition count of demo no longer zero. In the normal situation, calling this method will get blocked until the lock is released. And the lock demo will not get released because in order to release a demo object, this code block have to finish running. And this code block will not finish running because say hello to cannot finish running. Say hello to cannot finish running because it have to waiting for say hello finish running. Then get the needed lock. Here say hello is waiting on say hello to. Say hello to is waiting on say hello and we are in the deadlock situation. In reality, the deadlock didn't happen because JVM support the reentrant synchronization. In the background, the JVM asks which thread is currently holds the lock for say hello to. <coughs> the answer is thread zero. Then JVM asks, which thread 
is acquiring the lock for say hello to the answer is thread zero again at this point the thread trying to get the lock and already have the lock are the same thread in this situation instead of uh, blocking JVM increase the acquisition count of demo from 1 to 2 and enter the guarded code block. After executing the guarded code block, thread 0 exit. Upon exiting, the acquisition count of demo is decreased from 2 to 1. So we have executed the synchronized method, say hello to without deadlock and uh, the acquisition count of demo is currently 1 so the other threads still cannot acquire the lock they have to wait now thread 0 start to execute say hello 3 say hello 3 is another synchronized method and the lock is the caller demo and the demo is already held so instead of uh, blocking JVM increase the acquisition count of demo to 2 and execute then exit and exiting the acquisition count of demo is decreased to 1 Again, we executed say hello 3 without a deadlock. Finally, thread 0 finish run say hello and exit. Upon exiting, the acquisition count of demo is decreased to 0. Now the other thread waiting on demo sees the acquisition count is 0. So they can go ahead and acquire the lock thread 4 acquired the lock and enters the guarded code block after entering the guarded code block the acquisition count is increased to 1 so the other threads have to wait after thread 4 finish and uh, the acquisition count of demo returned to 0 the other threads get a chance to run. That is what happened at the output.